welcome to Sufi Wars. Till here, we had discussed about leadership challenges or personality of a leader and how a leader can be helped by his team members. So, in yesterday's session, we had discussed about different personalities which a leader may come across uh, in his team. Okay, we had discussed about uh, direct personality, we had discussed about spirited personality, we had discussed about considerate personality. Okay, and in today's session, we'll add few more things uh, related to leadership skills. Okay, so in today's session, we'll talk about leadership styles okay leadership styles or uh, do you think leader definitely needs to have a style yes for a period of time or the decades leaders have existed at various levels and they had successfully used few frameworks which had helped them to get the work as they expected. So in today's session, we'll have a brief discussion about this frameworks which a leader can add to his toolbox which can be handy to the leader to better organize and to ensure that he gets maximum success from his team members. Okay, so in today's session, we'll be discussing about uh, leadership styles, different frameworks in brief. Why I'm saying in brief in a sense, we'll have each session a complete one day or we'll discuss these topics uh, on a regular, uh, on a daily basis, one topic a day. Okay, because this styles, leadership styles will be very useful. Again, there is no fixed rule uh, where to use which leadership style. It again depends upon the circumstances, it depends upon the team members. The leader may choose any of the leading uh, leadership styles or the frameworks. It purely depends upon uh, the choice of the leader. Okay, so let us first get started with leadership styles. Okay, so uh, once again, welcome, welcome back to the session. So first, we'll uh, discuss about uh, autocratic leadership style. So what is this autocratic leadership style? Now, in this framework or in this style of leadership, what happens is the power totally is in the hands of the leader. The leader keeps all the rights and power in his hands. He will not give uh, most of the duties or responsibilities to the team members. Means whatever the instructions or whatever the work that is assigned by the leader in autocratic uh, leadership style just has to be executed. Okay, so in this autocratic uh, leadership style, the team members have a very limited uh, powers. We can say absolutely zero powers. Leader will be in total control of it. So when leader is in total control of the work, he ensures that the quality of the work is ascertained. Okay. And this photo form of leadership style may be feasible for small organizations or organizations which are in initial stages. But as the organization flourishes, uh, it becomes a little difficult uh, to handle this autocratic leadership in an organization. Well, uh, when we deal with autocratic leadership uh, and the Maybe tomorrow we'll go in detail about what are the advantages, disadvantages, okay, uh, what 
exactly uh, will cover as many in-depth concepts as possible related to autocratic type of leadership. As of now, uh, autocratic leadership means the power totally lies in the hands of the leader. The leader decides everything. Leader plays a major role in autocratic form of uh, leadership. Okay. And uh, let's look at next one. Bureaucratic uh, form of leadership style or framework. In bureaucratic leadership or framework, what happens is it will be more based on rules and regulations. Okay. Every part of the roles will be very clearly defined in this bureaucratic form of leadership. So I, actually it came into existence uh, during the beginning stages of industrial revolution where industries started to evolve as mushrooms. Everywhere there was an industrial uh, advancement happening in almost all, all the countries of the world. Now to regulate rules and regulations, they need to be a strict rules that have to be framed and adhered by the team members. Because there was a need to handle people at various levels. There were uh, people with no knowledge, no, and but very good skill set. So for them, a set of rules have to be framed. And that's how this bureaucratic rule of uh, bureaucratic leadership style has evolved. Now here, all the things are very carefully observed and everything is documented in the form of rules and regulations. Okay, so a leader who adopts this bureaucratic form of leadership will assign will not only assign the duties but he will also ensure that the rules and regulations or roles of his team members are very very uh, clearly stated and in most of the cases the team members are highly expected to follow those rules and regulations okay so this is a form of good leadership style but it lays more emphasis on rules and regulations which may not uh, get the maximum inputs or maximum output because communication factor is not given that importance in this bureaucratic form of leadership it is again uh, indirectly, the leader holds the power in this form of leadership. Okay, yeah. Next, democratic form of uh, leadership or framework. As the name itself suggests, democratic means equal rights. Okay, now in this democratic framework of leadership, the team members are treated equally. They are given a chance to raise their voice. They are given freedom to express themselves. And compared to other two, obviously democratic framework will have, um, will be good and most of the people will be comfortable in democratic framework. Okay, so as they get at least they can discuss, they can express their thoughts and views in democratic form of leadership or democratic framework. So this is uh, another aspect which is uh, considered to be a very good framework of leadership. And uh, let's move on with the next one. Yeah, charismatic leadership. Now in today's session, we'll discuss more about charismatic leadership. Now the name itself suggests charismatic means everyone is happy here. Okay. Now when everyone will be happy within a team when they are given not only 
a chance to raise their voice when they are given freedom and on top of freedom when they are uh, motivated when they are inspired okay now just imagine a situation where the leader is coming down to the team member okay his generally leader what will be a relationship between a leader and team so indirectly a leader when we say he will have an upper hand on the team members isn't it it's an open fact so a team leader will always be authoritative or will have an upper hand on the team members now imagine a situation where a team member sorry a team leader is stepping down and he sits along with the team member discusses the issue or the problem which the team member is uh, not able to do and not only just discussing the problem he probably gives a solution how to solve it how to solve the problem and he further goes ahead to say the team member don't worry about it if it doesn't work out also i am there to help you out together we'll definitely solve this problem now just imagine if a leader is extending such a support to the team member what will be the position of the team members will they not really enjoy the work definitely they will enjoy the work and not only enjoying the work if they have to go for the extra mile they have to take a little more pain to accomplish this task they will never give a second second thought they will definitely do the work why because here the leader is not using his authority here the leader is not using his power but rather leader is saying that i am one among you okay and i am always ready to help you out so in such a situation what happens keeping aside all the things definitely the leader will get maximum support from his team and when the team are ready to cooperate when the team are ready to extend their maximum support maximum efforts then there is no point of not getting the work done that will be the most fabulous team which a leader would like to do now that is the case with charismatic leadership style here there are no uh, what do you say hierarchy or hierarchy will be there but they give a feeling like we are all equal very supportive environment where the uh, where mutually everyone helps themselves and uh, ensures that the work goes in the right direction okay so obviously on the positive side by this time you would have understood there are like this definitely this is the most a uh, successful approach in order to assign and in order to get the work done do we have any side any downside of this approach yes there is once one disadvantage or downside of this approach what is it when a leader gives a very supportive and inspire inspiring messages he is very friendly with the team and he is getting the work done now in all the situations do you think the team members will be cooperative they may be one uh, or the other team member who is a little bit crooked okay who is not that professional so when someone who is not taking up things very professionally or who is not pro, not professionally groomed who doesn't take seri- things seriously then what happens the leader will do his job the leader will sit with him he will counsel him and he will inspire him and he will motivate him and he will encourage him definitely to do the work but on the other side if the 
team member who is not very serious, if he doesn't take up the things as expected, then what happens? Then most likely there is a danger that the work may not go in the direction as they were expected. Now here, suddenly a very friendly leader cannot take an arrogant outlook. And if it takes up also, none of the thing, it shows again like biased, it becomes a biased situation. So that, that is one of the uh, little bit drawback uh, related with charismatic leadership style. So if you catch them up in a very with tight rules and if you uh, levy very tight rules on them, then also the productivity will not come. If you give them a free hand, then some of them may use it in a very good way, but others may not use them. And definitely charismatic leadership style will be best suited when all the team members are highly educated, skilled, they are pioneers in the field. So in that situation, the leader who is adopting this approach, charismatic approach or charismatic style definitely will have a very blessed environment where the work is ensured not only with on time but with quality and good support from the team members. So that was a little bit for today's session. Hope you all would have enjoyed the session and whatever the inputs I have given you definitely this inputs will be helpful to you and uh, that almost brings us to the end of today's session okay take care stay in house okay stay indoors stay safe right okay uh, from tomorrow we'll go we'll pick up each leadership style and we'll go in detail okay thank you for joining me in today's session have a good day